Today we are gonna make an easy refrigerator strawberry jam with no special equipment, no sterilization going on today. It's gonna be easy, easy, easy. And then we're gonna follow that up with a strawberry lime lemonade. So today's special is strawberries. Let's get started. A really important thing for this recipe is to start by putting a spoon in the freezer before you do anything else. And I'll explain a little bit more about that later. Okay, so again, no special fancy equipment today. We are gonna be using a large saucepan. So I have already gone ahead and started my strawberries because this is a pound and a half. Um, but how I got it from this point to that point is I used this. It's a lemon, no, it's not a lemon holer. It's a strawberry holer, duh. It literally looks like a strawberry. Press the green button, claws come out, the claws go into the strawberry, they grab that hole, the core, and here, ta-da! Now I just need to finish chopping the strawberries. You wanna make sure that they're chopped into half inch size pieces. And this is a recipe that can use up any leftover strawberries that you might have in your fridge. Um, they don't have to be perfect looking because they're gonna cook down and become a jam. And I haven't made this recipe with frozen strawberries, but um, I know that a few people have and it is supposed to still be delicious. Because um, if you think about it, frozen berries are picked at their peak ripeness. I need to now transfer the strawberries to the large saucepan. And I'm just gonna use um, a bench scraper. I like to use this for transferring a lot of onions or chicken or anything that is cumbersome and could kind of fall. And We need some sugar. This is just plain granulated sugar. I'm gonna add that to the saucepan. We need one cup total. And for the strawberries, it is uh, one and a half pounds, but once you chop them down to half inch pieces, it's about three cups total. So we got the one cup of granulated sugar and finally our third and last ingredient lemons. We need three tablespoons of lemon juice. And there's usually about two tablespoons of juice per lemon, so I'll do like one and a half. I'm going to add the lemon juice into the saucepan. And now I'm going to heat the pan over medium-high heat. And once it comes to a boil, I'm going to reduce it down to medium. All right, so while this comes up to a boil, I'm just gonna clean up real quick. So we're at a boil now, and I'm gonna reduce the heat to medium and cook this for about 15 to 25 more minutes, and I'll know it's ready to test when I drag the spatula through the center of the jam and it doesn't fill in immediately. All right, so look at that. That's what I mean by dragging the spatula through, and it leaves a trail without immediately filling in. So I'm gonna take it off the heat and go grab my frozen spoon. So I have my spoon that's been hanging out in the freezer for a little bit. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip this into the jam. This is gonna tell me if it's ready, if it comes off in a clump. If it's runny, I need to simmer it a little bit longer. So I'm gonna go on in. It's ready. So I'm gonna transfer the jam to my jar. Use what you have. Um, really what's important is that you have a jar with a tight fitting lid. Okay. What could possibly go wrong here, you know? Wow. Okay, now I need to let that cool completely before I transfer it to the fridge. And you can keep it in your fridge for up to about three weeks if, if it lasts that long. It's been an hour and I'm gonna pop this jam into the fridge. And when you try this, Oh my goodness, I guarantee you're gonna love it. It is so full of that fresh summer strawberry flavor and it's smooth and it's luscious and it's just awesome. So hang with me, we're gonna come back and make some strawberry lime lemonade.
We need lemons, we need limes, we need strawberries in order to make our strawberry lime lemonade. And what I did up top was I actually already washed the fruit. And that's really important because a lot of times lemons and limes and oranges have wax on them and that's just to keep them from drying out while they're in the grocery store. But if you buy organic lemons or limes, um, you don't have to worry about the wax. So it's always a good idea just to kind of wash these and get any other kind of germs that might be hanging on to the citrus. So I gave them a good rinse um, and I used a vegetable brush which really helps to kind of ensure all that comes off. Um, and clearly I washed my strawberries. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna start by slicing our limes and prepping our strawberries. I like to just kind of rub the heel of my palm over citrus before I'm about to um, slice it or juice it. It just kind of helps to soften everything and get it ready for juicing. Um, and go ahead and cut the ends off there. And we're gonna slice these pretty thin. All right, so I am going to reserve half of these for later um, as the garnish part, but I'm gonna put half of the slices into this large bowl. And now we'll move on to the strawberry portion. So again, I'm gonna use um, the trusty huller. And I'll toss these guys. And then we're just going to slice them thin. All right, so and let's talk about strawberries for a second. So um, unlike the jam recipe, this is one that you definitely want to use fresh strawberries for. Um, I know that I said that you could use frozen if necessary um, to make that. So just like the limes, I'm going to transfer half of the strawberries to the bowl. And then you're just going to put the remaining half of the strawberry slices into the other bowl with the other half of the lime slices. Okay, I'm gonna clean up a little bit, but then I'm gonna grab some sugar and we're gonna move on with the lemonade. So one of the best things about this recipe is that it's just sort of, you know, add it all together, let it sit in the fridge, and then pour it for your guests. Um, and one of the things I love is that you don't have to make things like a simple syrup. And yes, there is sugar in this recipe, but it's not a huge amount so that you feel sort of guilty serving it to your guests. All right. Add that right to the bowl. It is a cup and a half of sugar, but it serves six to eight people. It's, it's fine. All right, so now it's time to get a little active with this recipe. We're gonna use a potato masher. Go on in here, and what we're doing is essentially muddling and mashing the fruit. So the liquid from the limes, the liquid from the strawberries is going to combine with the sugar and in about one minute, it's gonna look super wet, and that's how you know you've done enough for the step. All right, how does that look, you guys? I mean, I feel like I could just kind of put that on some ice cream now, you know? Um, but let's keep going with the recipe. Here is seven cups of cold water that I'm gonna add in here. And at this point, you're done with the potato masher, so you can go ahead and put that aside. I have an electric juicer, which definitely saves the wrists. These aren't the most ideal lemons, because as you can see, they have pretty thick pits. So when you're shopping for lemons, you want one that's a little bit more on the softer side, because that means it's closer to ripeness and it's gonna have a lot more juice in it. Whoa. So if you get any seeds, like I did right there, don't panic, we're gonna be straining all the solids. So. So it is now time to add the lemon juice. We have two cups of the juiced lemons. Again, with the seven cups of cold water and our muddled limes, sugar, and strawberries. I'm gonna whisk it for about one minute. Now we have this ginormous liquid measuring cup. It's an eight cup liquid measuring cup. And for the people wondering, it's not the biggest one they make. There are bigger ones. Okay. 
That's why I said if you get some seeds, don't worry. Now, look at that. All right, so you can use a whisk, wooden spoon, or the masher from earlier, but right now what you wanna do is you wanna kind of get all the liquid out from the fine mesh strainer, and don't be afraid to get in there, put a little, a little muscle into it, and just press on the fruit, just to make sure that all of that flavor comes through. That's all we're throwing out. And now, grab a pitcher. So if you have a pitcher with a wider mouth than this, I have a big mouth, but this doesn't have a big mouth. You can just do that step directly into the pitcher. Now I'm gonna try to pour this without spilling anything, which we know is not gonna happen. Ooh, no, don't get cocky. See, you know, my left hand will work. Is there a hole in this thing? It's probably the hole, it's probably the one that had the hole in it. I always seem to grab it. Oh my, well that was easy. Okay. First of all, how good does this look? Now do you wanna see it look even better? I'm glad you said yes, because let's add our garnish. Is, if this isn't mom of the year material, okay, then I don't know what is. And yes, you could drink it from here at this point, but also, if you wanna use a spoon to do this part, you can too, but I just use my hands for everything. Um, but this is now going to chill. The lemonade is gonna go in the refrigerator for one hour. But again, if you're super thirsty, you could take a drink now. Um, so I'm gonna pop it in the fridge for one hour. All right, so it has been one hour and this is looking so good. What? All right, and I don't mean to be a pusher, but similar to the watermelon slushies, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say, you could um, make these adult if you would like to. It wouldn't be a bad thing. Um, and then just using the spoon, I'm gonna go in, just because I'm like, really love to make things look as delicious as possible. I'm gonna go in there with a spoon and just top the lemonade with a few of the slices of the strawberries and the limes. Again, it was not hard to do. Yes, it used a few bowls, but it was not hard to do. And if you compare this to something like the powdery lemonade that comes in the canisters, this, there's no comparing the two. Mm. It's so good. It's not too sweet. You get definitely a little bit of tartness from the limes and the lemons, and most of all, the strawberry flavor. It is so good. Don't be afraid to make jam. Use up those strawberries, people. And jazz up your lemonade. Make a strawberry lime lemonade. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please like it and don't forget to subscribe.